Hi, Chef Dave here, and today we're going to talk about skillet cooking, and I'm going to show you the difference between pan frying and pan broiling, the two most common methods of skillet cooking. In pan frying, uh, we use a little bit of oil uh, to the pan, and whereas pan broiling, we add no oil at all. For our pan fry recipe, we're going to use uh, country fried steaks, and for our pan broil recipe, we're going to use a nice top loin steak. Now I've got my pan he heating right now, and that's what you want to do. That's our first step. We're going to heat our pan, and we're going to add just a little bit of oil to the pan. Now, we add oil to the pan in pan frying because of the foods that we, we cook. A uh, country fried steak is a breaded product, and what we want to have happen is that breading kind of se uh, seal up uh, as, it, as, it, as it hits the pan. And we breaded uh, some very nice uh, bottom round steaks today. We pounded them nice and thin, put a nice breading on of breadcrumbs, a little bit of egg mixture, and as you can hear that sizzle as it hits the pan, and that's what we want to hear uh, when, we're, when, we're pan, when we're pan frying. And what we want to do is let it heat in that oil, and then we'll flip it over to the other side to seal in the other side as well. Okay, uh, we want to cook this for about five to six minutes, and now it's time to flip. As you can see, because the oil was hot and the pan was hot, we get this really nice golden brown crust on it, uh, which will really make for a flavorful country fried steak. Okay, our, ste our country fried steak is done now. I'm just going to plate it right here and turn off our oven just for one second and switch pots. And now we're going to move into our next uh, dish, which is pan broiling. And we're going to pan broil a New York strip or top loin steak. And again, in this technique, what we don't want to do is add any oil to the pan. We don't want to overcrowd, uh, add water, or cover. Again, this is a dry heat cooking method. Uh, and we can not only use uh, top loin steaks, but we could use uh, top sirloin steak. A flat iron steak would work great during this cooking method. Uh, a marinated top round would work well. So there's, there's plenty of options uh, to use when we're pan broiling. And again, I just want to make sure that our pan gets hot. And the reason why we want our, our pan to get hot is because we want that nice browning that we'll get when the pan is at the right temperature. Okay, the pan is ready and we're going to put our steak on. And that's the sound we want to hear, that sizzle, which is going to give us good browning. Browning adds flavor to the uh, steak that's not intrinsic to the steak itself. One inch thick steaks or less will turn occasionally. If it's one inch thick or thicker, will turn just once. Look at that beautiful browning on that steak. Okay, we've got a steak that I've already cooked and we're gonna cut a few more slices and, and place these slices on this beautiful, healthy salad. There up. Got great roasted vegetables on a bed of lettuce with a beautifully cooked top loin steak that's been pan broiled. As you can see, skillet cooking is a healthy, convenient, and easy way to enjoy beef. And don't forget, for all the know before you go, visit beefatswhatsfordinner.com.